All right, folks. We are back once again with more Knights of the Old Republic. Um, so when we left off, we were in Davik's estate, and we are uh, on our way to go cause all types of trouble. On it. Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here! Or I'll call the guards. Kudu. Oh dear. I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Mm, call the guards. You're dead. Your target. By the time the guards show up, they're gonna have to take you out of here in pieces. Guess you're dead then. <laughs> What the? Oh, the guards actually did come. Well, one of them anyway. I'll take that. All right. Security door. Get out or me call guards. Time to die, bug face. Yeah, there's some dark side points. Alright, where are your damn guards? One guard. Bye bye. No problem. I'll take that and let's check out this one over here. On it. Done. Oh, there's nobody in here. All right. On it. Done. Hmm, some Paza cards and weapon upgrades. Lots of pass out cards, some credits, and a data pad. Alright, where does this go? Standard door. Oh, these are the slave quarters. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Oh, really? Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, eh, but thing. perhaps one of Yeah, shut up. All right. Um, how about Welcome you then? Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Would you like a relaxing massage, mistress? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Mm. Yeah, I'll just be going. Don't need no massage, and I can't murder you all, so. Don't mind the dead bodies. Nothing to see here. What's in here? Okay. Hello. Don't mind me. Just, uh, just going for a stroll. Just, uh, stretching my legs, you know. It, uh, gets boring. Just staying around in my room. Repair kit. It looks like just a repair kit. All right. Uh, where are we now? Okay, that looks like the hangar. Let's go check out this other room. Want to be uh, want to be thorough.
So where is this at? Oh, bounty hunter. Hello there, my friend. Kill you real fast. Okay. What do you have for me? Computer pass card. I'm sure that'll be useful. Ah! Torture droid. Okay. It's funny, these torture droids look exactly like the uh, the medical droids in the Sith base. I wonder if that's, uh... Man. What the fuck? Alright, fast look. Take this thing out. I'm here. What? What can I do? Uh, heal us up. Oh, look at this. Some guy went and got himself stuck. Cage release. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'll tell you everything I know. All right. Information worth a fortune. So just stay calm, okay? I I'll tell you what I know. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You ah, can use that's those codes like to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. What? But <laughs> I don't have anything else. Those Ebonhawk codes are worth a fortune. Isn't that enough? Please, just let me go. It's never enough. We got what we came for. There is no need to indulge your appetite for violence. I'll do what I want. I didn't survive through all that torture just to let you kill me. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Bye bye. <laughs> that was pretty funny. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. What? How dare you speak to me like that? I could ask Davik to have you flayed alive for such insolence. Mm, time for you to die. Help! Assassins! Guards! Help! Murder everybody. Mm, yeah. One random little guard. Okay. Oh, you have uh you have something for me to pick up? Yes you do. Some nades, but more importantly, what do you have for me in here? Ooh, 500 credits. Yes, please. And... Ooh. Good stuff. Again, the benefits of being... Oh. This door wasn't open before. Oh, shit. This must be like the guard barracks. No problem. We can just kill them all. Perfect. None of them have anything. Oh wait, this one has something for me. Okay. Wahahaha! A lot of people I was not expecting. 
Well, they seem actually mostly unarmed. Oh no, there's some guards. No, don't flurry. Critical strike. First aid. Med pack. Uh, speaking of first aid. Heal me up. Alright, good stuff. Um, where does this go? Okay, this links up with where we were before. Is there another door off of that main room? Let me go look. Oh, there's some remains too. Ah, there was another door. Some more guards. Ah, these are droids. More of you, okay. Okay, what's in here? Hmm, that's it? Huh? I think you have demolitions, right? No, nope, guess not. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Huh? I'm here. Oh, there we go. All right, it's in this supply container. Uh, guess it's useful stuff. What? Come on, Candrus. All right, can pass the. Give us another heal. What? All right. Um. Ah, oh, some remains. Parakeets will come in helpful. Okay. Now then, I think everybody's dead, just the way I like it. Uh, oh, I forgot to grab this. Always in the mood for some med packs. So that just loops right back around where we were, and then there's the even hawk there. Perfect. On it. Damn. Impossible. Need to find a computer. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, where'd Candrus go? Come on, man. I'm here. I'm here. No, no, no. Come on. All right. So I have to use this to open it up. Two spikes. Eh. Log out. Can I switch? Yeah. Um, okay. How about you? Do you have computer? I forget. Computer use? No. I have one computer use. You have zero computer use. Okay. What? Not the best, uh... Line up for. Oh, wait a minute. Use access card. Access system commands. Hey! Disable hangar security. Okay, so now can I get in there? There we Damn go. Set. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on the sooner. Or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. This is mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Oh, we actually get to kill this guy now. All right, let's toss a frag nade and then. Ouch. Going down, I'm 
taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Hmm. <laughs> eh. I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Well, bye. Um, yeah, I'll take all your crap. Oh, guess I can't take your crap. Um, how the hell do I get out of here? Or a demon hawk. Yes, I wish to board the hawk. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Okay, back up here again. Friend Malak. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. <laughs> oh, where's the Death Star when you need it, huh? Dantooine. There's a Jedi on the there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters. Quickly, hey. to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. What? I thought we had the special access codes. She has radar. That's cool. Man, I can't lower go down anymore. Am I supposed to kill that guy? Okay, I'm really bad. Really bad. Come on. Your freaking lasers. There we go. Lifetime since I sent Father's service. Oh, okay. Seems there we like go. a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? 
You saw what his fleet did to terrorists. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. All right. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshu must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. Okay. Man, this is really cutscene movie intensive, this part of the game. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Cart, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Unable to switch characters. Okay. That's fine. What did I lose? Items lost. Well, anyway, I got some new stuffs. What does Davix Visor do? Bonus feet. Improved power blast. Okay. I'll give that to somebody for sure. How about Davix War Suit? This gives me 20 versus cold versus fire. This only gives me 10 versus cold versus fire. And for one more defense, I'll stick with what I got. Um, well, I can't equip it to anybody else, but I was going to say I will give it to somebody else, but I can't do that right now. And I'm just guessing this is the right way since everybody is running in this direction. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Um. No Padawan. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Mm, tell Please the truth. Forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Sure. Which way am I supposed to go? Um, outer courtyard. Jedi Council Chamber. Okay. Oh, hey, is that Yoda? So you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook. Master Vandar, no, and nope. of course, Master the Vandar. Of the Academy, Master Dorak, Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar. Wait a minute, Bastila's a Padawan? This is no trap. The Council just wants to talk to you. There is much that needs to be discussed. Hmm. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Indeed, I am sure that you do. 
I assure you that we will have answers for you. Okay, uh, why am I Master here? tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Really? I thought I was a bit too old for that. Plus, wouldn't she have been like, yeah, this, this person's made some really questionable choices since she likes to kill everybody, but... Mm. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? <laughs> Lie. <laughs> Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept... <laughs> hey, they, they didn't see my lie. Oh, there are rare exceptions in the history of our order, but you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Hmm. Interesting. Guess we're gonna be a Jedi. Man, my face is getting funky. And like that doesn't like make them wonder like, oh maybe this ain't such a great idea. Now what? Another movie? Alright, what's this? Hmm. That looks sort of like Malak. And I guess that's the dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the star forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Hmm. This morning's getting stranger by the morning. Why in the hell would I be having Bastila weird visions like that, like though? Ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you oh, should back to the away. council chambers. Did you say no, anything she else? She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? Yeah, had a rough you night. A weird vision. Um, can't have Basla. I'll take uh, these goons. Um, so let's see. What does, uh, what does Dalek's visor do? It does improved power blast. So first of all, do you even have power blast? You already have improved power blast. Oh, that's because I just equipped it. Nah. You have clothing equipped? Regular old clothing? Getting Davik's war suit. Yeah. Fancy. Huh? All right. Um. What? Oh. Mm, if I had known you were gonna do that, I wouldn't have picked you. All right. Fine. Huh? Oh, sorry. 
I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... it's... it's just gone. Mmm... Terrace Wasteland. How can you be so cool? Millions of people dead, and all you can say is get over it? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malak, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malak or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Alright, good to know. Now then, we've got to go back to the council chambers. I think we'll stop right outside of them though, because we're starting to uh, run up against our time limit. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, stop here and call it an episode. Uh, so, thank you all for watching, and when we return, we will go see what the uh, what the Jedi Council wants. <laughs>